Hey everybody, Mike here with Studio Q Photography. Uh, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing here. We have a new product that we're going to be using when we do our business headshots and solo portraits and whatnot. Um, and it's an eyeliner. Um, it's from Newer. And we're going to be using that to basically give a little bit of a, a curved catch light in the eye. Um, and it provide a little bit more flattering light and helping reflect light up in into this area here and help get rid of uh, lines and wrinkles and, and that type of things with shadows. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to open up the box and put this thing together so you can see exactly um, what it is. Um, So it comes, well, first, comes in this really long box. Here, and then it's uh, nicely packaged as well here. And we're just gonna cut this open, gently, because we don't want to cut into um, the highlighter itself, because I don't know how it's bagged. Oh, inside this bag, there's another bag. So it's coming with its own um, carrying case and bag, and you can see it already has a, a curve to it here. And it's got the newer brand name right on top there. I do like that it comes with a bag. I had no idea that it came with its own carrying case. Um, what I tend to do is I'll put this bag inside of another bag. So I'll. I don't like to carry a ton of things, but I like everything to have its own compartment or bag or, or, or safe place. Uh, so it's not getting mixed in with other equipment. And if you have assistants that are new, I can just say, hey, hand me the bag that says newer on it. And they'll know what exactly what to hand me out of the bag instead of just a bag of rods and posts for backdrop stands or light stands or anything like that, where everything is a, a black folding piece of metal. Um, so let's see what we have here. Bunch of bubble wrap here. This is going to be your, uh, what I'm assuming is going to be the, uh, the base of, of the unit. It's got the adjuster here, so you could tilt. Uh, it does come with a, a little thank you book. Right, and then the uh, curved frame rods. A lot of loud plastic. And then this is your base silver reflective material. And then it also comes with a modifying material that goes on there. And it's all, these all stick together with uh, Velcro. Ow. So it's gonna have a, uh, a gold and a white side modifier. So you can modify that light to give it different, um, different tones there as well. All right, so let's see how to put this thing together. And these are just uh, small wing nuts that I'm that I'm taking off now and dropping all over the place. So then I'm gonna assume these are gonna go on the long side. So 
So I've taken the fabric here and it has a, a, a pull pocket, a, a elastic based pull pocket. I'm just going to feed that through. It's So we got one side set. We get the other side going here. So both poles, both of these arced poles, um, are the same size, same width, everything like that. So it doesn't really matter uh, which is top, which is bottom. Because right now there is no top or bottom. Okay, so we have that there. So it is all set here. And then we have these, uh, I'm gonna assume that they're tensioning rods. hold that together. And I was wrong. There is a right way and a wrong way to put this thing on there. Because I just did it the wrong way. So when you're installing the rods, there is a hole on each end where your tensioning rods are going to go. So you want to make sure that those are going to be pointing to the inside. So you can have the, the right bend in the material and the tensioning rods can connect. Otherwise, if you do what I just did, you get the wrong bend and the tensioning rods won't connect. There's another pull pocket here for the tensioning rod. Feed that through. And that's going to provide tension as well. Side done. Feed this through this pocket here. And now we're set with a better. You can already see how that's changing the lighting just on me from the video. So then you're going to take the initial mounting bracket and each one of these screw posts is going to go, there's a hole right in the center here. So those are going to go from underside to top side. Okay. 
and we use our, our, our plastic wing nuts to secure those in place. So it is something that you can use without a light stand. I'm probably going to use it probably about 95% of the time with a light stand, but you could always have, um, depending on how tight you're photographing, you can always have your model kind of hold this, but then you got to worry about them angling it the right way and, and them actually holding it and their arms being out more, uh, not being able to use their arms if in, the, in the portrait if you wanted to bring their hands into their face or whatnot. Um, but that last piece that we put on is just going to go on to a light stand. Just like any other light stand accessory, it's got the, the, the wing nut screw on the base here. And then if you can see, there's also a, a, a piece here that will allow you to change the angle. We'll loosen that up and show you. So then this will change that angle for you. So we get that on. And then when positioning it, you know you want it kind of low. And then you're going to want it tilted into your subject. Once you get that position right, you just secure that other wing nut. And voila, you have you have your eyeliner here. And what that's going to do, like I said, is going to project up and get into the eyes there to pr produce a really nice catch light. Um, and then it's also, like I said, has the different colored scrim here. So if you wanted a more warmer look to it, it's got the gold. And that just Velcro's on like that. So it takes a couple of seconds and that's about it. So after this is built, um, all that you need to do to put it in the bag for easy storage, and this is super, super lightweight. I mean, it can't weigh more than like a pound, two pounds maybe. Um, so it's easy, it's something that's slim so it could store easy in your studio. And to store it back in that bag for travel, you just take off this bar again and then it'll scrunch up and you put everything um, back in your bag. So let's do that. So this is a, the newer um, eyeliner. So thanks for watching that product review. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, and if you want to contact us on social media, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Studio Q Inc. Or you can visit our website, which is StudioQInc.com. Until next time, be safe and happy shooting.